Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 reviews stuff. How are you guys doing today? I just got back from getting blood work done because my life is so exciting since I threw my back out. <laughs> I was sitting in the waiting area and it was me and every other person was over the age of like 85. <laughs> it was like, what has my life become? <laughs> I'm sitting in a waiting area with my back out <laughs> and I'm like basically looking at my future and I'm getting ready to go do a review. I was like, I, I need something fun in my life. I need to remember my youth. And I got on totallythebomb.com, which is, you know, my favorite website of life, um, besides shopping websites, because I love to shop so much. Oh, by the way, I just have to say, um, I did find my, um, uh, what is it, Sol de Janeiro lip balm. And can I just tell you, this is like the most fantastic lip balm in the entire world. And if you watched my um, haul that I did of Sephora, where I bought all the Sol de Janeiro products, the shampoo and the conditioner is like beyond. It is my favorite shampoo and conditioner I have ever used in my entire life, even more so than some shampoos and conditioners that I've had in hotels, okay? It is so fantastic. Do you know like when you use a shampoo or conditioner in a hotel and then you like try to hunt it down? I did that forever. The hotel at Mandalay Bay, it doesn't exist anymore. I think it's called the Delano, but there's the there's Mandalay Bay and then there was the hotel at Mandalay Bay, which is like all these suites. And I loved this hotel. I used to stay there in Las Vegas and they have this shampoo and conditioner that they sold in the gift shop. And like every time I would go there, I always went to get some in the, in the lotion and stuff and bring it home and I could never find what it was and I loved it. It smelled so good. But anyway, go get that. So anyway, I was like, I need some fun today. I need something that is going to remind me of my younger days. And so I got on totallythebomb.com and guess what? Holly saved my life today of misery, okay? By the way, Holly and I have been emailing back and forth and we're gonna come up with maybe either the Good Judy Frappuccino or the Family Friendly Frappuccino. What do you think? I think maybe the Family Friendly fra Frappuccino over here. But I think the Good Judy Frappuccino would be fun too. So anyway, Maybe both. We'll have to see. So she, I look, I went over here and I was like, she surely, don't call me Shirley. I was like, do you guys love the movie Airplane? I love it so much. But anyway, my dad loved it back in the day. I thought it was so corny then because my dad would always be like, and don't call me Shirley. I'd be like, dad, you're so corny. Stop. And I'd be popping my gum and stuff. Anyway, I, like my dad hated that when I would pop my gum. I constantly popped my gum when I was a kid. But anyway, um, by the way, chewing gum underneath a face mask in um, a blood lab is not fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to tell you. But I will say this, um, that the women that were in, the, the woman that took my blood, she was so fantastic. And I looked at her and I said, <laughs> It's the waiting area, just like one person would leave and like five more would come. It was just like packed, you know, and then they had every chair six feet apart. So you had to sit out in the hallway and then the governor was on the TV talking about how many more, it's just, it's just, I can't. Anyway, I need fun. I need happiness in my life. Okay. But the woman was fantastic. And I looked at her, I said, are you having a good day? And she just kind of looked at me and I said, are you ready to go home? She goes, I was ready to go home four hours ago or something like that. But anyway, so Holly, I was like, there's no way that she could have posted. Did, um, since she just posted yesterday. And sure enough, here it is. You can get a funnel cake. <gasps> oh my God, I love elephant ears and funnel cake so much. You can get a funnel cake frappuccino from Starbucks that will make you feel like you're at a carnival. Okay, listen, listen. I love like carnivals, you know, that are in strip malls in the summertime, though we don't have any this year. I love the lights. I love the smells of all of the food that they sell and all of the, what's it called, concessions and all that kind of stuff. I love, when I was growing up, um, in the Target shopping area, there was like this carnival that would come every summer. Now, I didn't have any friends because I was lonely, and so I would go up there by myself, and I would play, my mom would drop me off, and then she'd say, okay, honey, I'll come back, and I'll pick you up in like an hour and a half, and I said, okay, mom, and I was lonely. I was so lonely when I was a kid. Nobody wanted to be my friend. It was so sad. Anyway, um... So she would give me some money and I would walk around and then I would play all those games and I would get those mirrors, you know, that said like Judas Priest on them and like <laughs> Cream. Family friendly, but the band Cream, do you remember that? And it would have all the band names on it, you know, and stuff. Like Rat. Do you remember Rat? R-A-T-T, -T, the band. Anyway, and then I would get those, um, those 
those little things, you know, with that you're supposed to put in your hair that had the feathers on them. I thought they were so pretty. I couldn't wait to come home and put them in my hair and just throw them around like this while I was like dancing to Thelma Houston and stuff. But anyway, or Boy George, I couldn't wait. So anyway, I'd have all those in my hair, you know. Like I'd like win like five of those feather things and clip them in my hair and I go, Karma, 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 chameleon, you come and go. Anyway, I totally thought I was Boy George. <laughs> that should have been a sign. But anyway, um, and then I would always like go and I had to get a goldfish, right? That was my whole thing. Like I would go get a goldfish and then I would like, you know, with the ping pong balls, you throw them in that thing, you get a goldfish, right? Now, years later, I did learn, okay? Cause you know, I've been sober for 25 and a half years. So I've been to some seedy places, I'm just saying, okay? I did learn that those mirrors are not for looking at yourself, okay? Therefore, well, I for cooking and cutting, cooking and cutting, let's just say that, okay? And those things for the, the hair, the karma chameleon, hair that I thought was, you know, giving me the full drag effect back in the day when I was like eight years old. Those are actually for holding on to your adult cigarettes. <laughs> That's what they're for. But I didn't know. I truly didn't hear. My mom thought I was probably coming home with all kinds of paraphernalia. But then every year we used to go to the state fair when I was a little kid. Okay. And this is not such an adult story, but we would go to the state fair. My, um, so my cousins, Carrie and Vicky, they, um, Carrie is a boy and he would, they would show like livestock because they live on a farm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And my cousin Carrie would show like steer and stuff like that. And so they would bring him up to the, the fair, uh, state fair, Indiana state fair. If you've never been to the state fair, you have lost, you have, you have not lived until you go to the state fair. Okay. I know like it is like, listen, okay. I am so tired of this culture we live in where it's bougie this and bougie that and listen I love high end stuff too okay but the state fair is literally where it's at all day long and it will humble you so quickly and you will be like this is what this is what life is all about right here is the state fair okay you go and you walk through and see the animals the only thing is that now that I'm a vegetarian and I realize how sad it was that if you go in the pig barn when you come right out it's like where all the corn dogs and stuff are the tenderloin sandwiches it is so horrible but truly okay you go in there and you see like the world's fattest pig and then you see like all the little baby pigs and they're so cute you always take 15,000 pictures of them and then you walk around now my favorite thing was that my mom and I we did it until I was an adult literally till the year that my mom passed away we went to the state fair every single year I would go and I would get on this carousel right okay when I was a little kid my aunt Janie that was my um, cousin's mom that's my dad's sister we would um, get I would get on the carousel until she would meet my mom and I up there listen my dad's family was so Oh my lord, I almost cussed. They were so amazing to my mom. They all came to my mom's funeral. They were amazing to her all the years after. That's how it should be in divorce. That's how it should be, okay? Can we all just be civil and not hate each other, please? For the kids. For the kids. Because they were amazing. So anyway, my mom and my Aunt Janie would meet up. And then I would go to the carousel. And I would ride around the carousel. And when it was over, I'd go, one more time, Aunt Janie. One more time, Aunt Janie. And then she'd let me go around one more time. And I was always real happy, see? But then we would get um, elephant ears or uh, we would get funnel cakes. But my favorite thing at the state fair, the best thing that is go to the milk barn and get the grilled cheese sandwiches and the milkshakes from the milk barn are the best in the entire world, hands down, okay? But then at the end of the night with my mom, when I would do is we would get saltwater taffy or fudge because they have best saltwater taffy and fudge at the fair. And then one of us would get like a funnel cake, right? And we would get, you pay a dollar each and you get on this thing that's like a tractor and it pulls these long things and you just sit on this bench and there's a bench on either side and it just, it drives real slow around because it's supposed to like take you from place to place, but we just ride on it, see? And then it takes you all around the fair. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. I love it so much. So when I saw this on here today at eight minutes and 38 seconds, I was like, Holly has touched my heart in a way that she has no idea, okay? So anyway, what is the number one thing you think of when you think of the carnival? Um, riding around with my mom. But the second thing is probably the funnel cakes. I do love the funnel cakes. The rides, the prizes, for me, it's the food. I will tell you, I don't do the rides, okay? Now, listen, two stories, okay? Number one, uh, my really, really good Judy and I, back in the day, he and I, we had Western shirts on and John Deere hats, and we thought we looked real butch, okay? We probably didn't, but we did look hot, so that's all that matters. And, um... We were walking past this one thing, and this uh, guy was standing there, and he goes, Hey, boys, show your... This is what he said to us. It was some, like, one of those dark games. And he goes, Hey, boys, why don't you show your pride and play with us? I was like, 
what did he just say? <laughs> Family friendly, okay? The other thing is, listen, if you're a carny out there, God love you, okay? Somebody's got to do it. But I don't know that I trust how those games, those rides are put together, okay? But my husband, he loves the rides at the fair. So we go to the fair. My husband and I, we go to the fair and he likes to do the rides. From cotton candy to turkey legs to funnel cake, it makes my stomach grumble just thinking about it. And they show care of Ferris wheel. I actually, there's a Ferris wheel in my book. So if you didn't know, I wrote a book. It's called The Before, Now, and After Then by Peter Mond. Okay, I read the whole thing on my booktube channel. So you can go over there. I read it by chapter by chapter. If you want to buy it, it's like $890 on Amazon because it's out of print. But it is coming back to a publisher with my next book. Okay. So whether your state fair got canceled or you just can't wait for the next carnival to roll into town, we have a solution for you. Why not take some famous carnival food and turn it into one of our secret mini drinks? And this is what a funnel cake looks like, just in case you don't know. Okay. It's basically like all of this dough that's been like uh, deep fried and then you put powdered sugar on it. I decided that funnel cake was the route to go because there's already a cotton candy frappuccino. Reviewed it. And who the heck wants a turkey leg frappuccino? Not me. If you do, call me sometime around Thanksgiving. We can make this work. No thanks, Holly. So here it is, the funnel cake frappuccino. Picture one. I'm so excited. Okay, I present to you the funnel cake frappuccino. It is fantastic. I'm pretty proud of myself because it is definitely dessert in a cup. We made, now I have had so many funnel cakes in my entire life that you better, if it doesn't taste like a funnel cake, I'm gonna let you have it, okay? She said, I'm pretty proud of myself because it is definitely, all caps, that means she's yelling at us. Stop yelling at us, Holly. Dessert in a cup. We made samples and everyone in the store agreed it tastes just like funnel cake score. You will definitely want to get your hands on one of these, so grab your recipe below, grab the recipe below and let's get, grab our recipe below and let's get started on making this masterpiece. And here's another picture. And I wonder if totallythebomb.com even realizes that Holly is actually the star. Okay, so let's get going. Here's the recipe. I will read you the recipe. Um, do, 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 do. Start, it's real easy. Start by ordering a cafe vanilla frappuccino. Ask for one pump of toffee nut syrup. Okay, then there's an ad for a G-Shock watch that I think I might want to have. Okay, then ask for extra caramel drizzle inside the cup and on top of the whipped cream, as well as cinnamon dolce powder, and that's it. This one is actually pretty easy to order and the results are phenomenal. I cannot wait. Okay, let's get this going. We are at 11 minutes and 53 seconds and I haven't even ordered the drink yet. But what would it be without my stories? I mean, don't you love stories? Oh my God, when my good shitty Valerie and I, when we go to the casino, okay, she will laugh so hard because she watches all my videos. My good Judy Valerie is literally, she is getting high in the ranks of the good Judy's because um, my other good Judy's don't even watch my videos. Well, my sponsor does, she watches my vlogs. She goes, sometimes I watch, I put your vlogs on in the background, they're so relaxing. I'm like, oh God, I hope I don't say anything bad about my sponsor when I'm talking in the vlogs. <laughs> but anyway, this is gonna be like a 30 minute video today and guess who doesn't care, me. Okay, so, um, but my good Judy Valerie and I, when we go to the casino, there will be like people, it's been a while, but there will be people there and then they'll like sit next to you and they'll be like, I was playing that machine last Thursday, I hit 10,000 on it. I always call those people stories. I look at Valor and I go, stories. And uh, cause they always wanna tell you, is this Starbucks closed? I swear to God, after this whole intro, of 12 minutes and 53 seconds, if it is closed, I'm gonna be bitter. But they're always, there is like nobody here. Oh my God, I think it's closed. Oh, it is closed? Are you kidding me? Oh my lord, it's closed. Their hours are till 12 p.m. Okay, well, I have to find another Starbucks and then I'll be back. I'm not losing this. I'm, I'm gonna find a Starbucks and I'm doing this review today. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I came to another Starbucks. And I don't go to this one very often, but um, I do like the Starbucks. It's like a new one. It's like very fancy and stuff. Like reading on the sign they have out here. Remember everyone, deployed. We have adopted a troop overseas and are collecting donations. Help us put together a care package for our brave soldiers by purchasing a bag of coffee or non-perishable snack. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I love that. Um, can I get a venti iced? blonde Americano and then I need to get a drink can you help me with this it's pr it's pretty easy I need to get a grande cafe vanilla frappuccino if you know what that is and then I need one pump of toffee nut syrup in it 
And then extra caramel drizzle inside the cup and on top of the whipped cream. And then some cinnamon dolce powder on top of the whipped cream as well. That is, are you like, do I just buy a bag of coffee if I want to donate it to these troops? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me do that too. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. I think that's so nice that they're doing that. I've actually been making coffee at home and I got, um, what do you call it? I've been using my percolator. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Have you ever had a percolator? Okay, it's so cool. Like, Alex didn't really know. He was totally not impressed whatsoever. He was upstairs watching TV the first time that I made it. And I go, Alex, listen. I go, pause the TV. Or I said, can you hear that? And he goes, um, he goes, no. And I, he paused the TV and I go, do you hear it now? And it was like, bloop, bloop. I mean, then the next thing I heard was him starting his TV again. He wasn't impressed. But I will tell you this, that when you make coffee in the percolator, it's time for the percolator. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. When you make coffee in the percolator, it like the whole house smells like coffee. It is so fantastic. And I had all of these candles burning. I had like pumpkin candles burning and stuff. It smelled like fall in the entire house. It was so, it smelled so good. So I can make your house to smell good if you want. Go get a percolator, they're so cool. You can get them at Walmart or Target and they're not like that expensive. They're like between like 30, and you can get like a really cheap one for like 25 bucks, I think. Um, but I really love them. I also have the glass thing that's like this, you know, like an hourglass. I love that where you put that. That's like so romantic on a Sunday to make coffee like that. I mean, like if you put that on like, you know, if you do like breakfast in bed and stuff like that, we like brunch. We like to go out, we do. But um, like if you do that, I also have a French press. I have all the coffee things. I love my French press. I very rarely make coffee in the French press, but I will say this, that if you make coffee in a French press, it is like some of the best coffee in the entire world. Have you ever had a French press? Oh my God. It's like really strong coffee. But actually, I think a French press is better for like an after dinner party. Now, my mom, she used to use that glass thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? The glass thing that has like the wood in the middle of it. She used to do that for after dinner parties. Like when she would have people over, she would make that and bring it out and people would always go and ooh and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because they'd be real excited that she made coffee. <laughs> what they didn't know is that she had made uh, coffee and the coffee mate up in the, <laughs> Mr. Coffee up in the kitchen just poured it in there. No, I'm joking, she didn't do that. The only thing with that is that you sometimes get coffee grounds in it, but it is really, really good and it's really fun. Do you know the other thing is if you like teas, have you ever been to David Teas? I'm like obsessed with David's teas. I love them so much. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. If I wasn't next, I would turn the camera off and not make you guys wait because I know this is like really, really long. She's driving off without her credit card. Maybe she didn't. I'm gonna turn you this way. Hey, how are you? Hey, it's ah. Here is this Thank you. I am like loving my new fanny pack. Here is oh, thank you. I'm loving my new fanny pack. It's like my new purse. Oh, thank you so much. You too. Look, I'm so excited. Okay, I need to find a parking space. Oh my lord. Somebody is not happy today. This person is going into Qdoba. Doesn't Qdoba sound so good? I'm so hungry right now. And it's time for a dessert. And you know what else it's time for? It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Oh, my leg is hurting me. Oh my God, sometimes when I laugh real hard, my leg starts hurting. Okay, oh my God, Las Cabos Mexican Bar and Grill. I've never been there. That looks good though. I love Mexican food so much. Can you tell? You know, but Las, Las Cabos. Okay, oh, hold on a second. I need to. I hate that they always put the sticker over the Starbucks thing. It makes me so mad. But that's the least of my worries today. When I do that, I'm thinking of you, Holly. Okay. Ah, it's family friendly. Okay. <laughs> oh, that tastes good. Okay. I'm so excited for this. Funnel cake. I'm, I'm channeling funnel cake. I 
I mean, it is delicious. I don't know that I get funnel cake from this. And maybe it needs to be mixed a little bit more. It tastes like, this is gonna sound so strange, but it tastes kind of smoky. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it any better. It tastes kind of smoky, like. It's the toffee nut that makes it that way. Why are you looking at me? I'm making a video. People are so rude. <laughs> Stop looking at me, paparazzi. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, no offense, Holly. I don't get, I don't get, well, I'll tell you what I get, actually. I just got it. I was like, it tastes like something, but I can't figure it out. It tastes like pancakes and syrup is what it tastes like. It totally does. It tastes like pancakes and syrup, which I guess you could kind of say is like funnel cake, but not really. Yeah, it tastes like pancakes and syrup. It totally does, but it's delicious. Like, I would get this again. This is like 4.8, 4.9. Because I love the toffee nut and the, the caramel together and the cinnamon dolce. It's good. Did I miss something? I feel like maybe I missed something. Okay. Cafe Vanilla Frappuccino. One pump of toffee nut syrup. It's pancakes, you guys. It totally tastes like pancakes and syrup. Then ask for extra caramel drizzle inside the cup and on top of the whipped cream as well as cinnamon dolce powder. And that's it. This one's actually pretty easy to order on the results. It's delicious. I mean, it is so good. But it's pancakes and syrup. I mean, it's not. It doesn't taste like a uh, funnel cake to me. I mean, I don't really care. I love it, but... Anyway, you guys go try it and let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think if you think it tastes like funnel cake below. And I love you guys. And I well, thank you, Holly, for another fun recipe. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.